Hey guys, a bit Squid here, and welcome to this course on making a game in Unity with Playmaker from start to finish. Now, in this video, we are going to be uh, creating our character and getting it moving up and down. Now, you will have seen what the game will look like in the end from the thumbnail. Uh, and basically, what's going to happen is there'll be two options on the screen if you want to do it as a phone game or use the keyboard. If you press up, then the bird will move up, and if you press down, the bird will move down. The only aim is to dodge the enemies appearing on screen, collect stars to gain extra points, and go for a high score. So it's a quite simple, uh, maybe easy thing to make for your first game. And also, even if you've made a few games in Playmaker, you might learn a new thing or two from doing this. So, hopefully you've got your scene ready. All the links to all the assets you need will be in the description, besides for the uh, arrow keys we'll be using for touchscreen controls at the end. Uh, you just need to find some of those on your own, but be wary about uh, what kind of license it uses, if it's okay to use commercially or not commercially. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna rename my scene here, pressing F2 to game. And this doesn't matter about reloading or not. And then you want to add the files. So I've got them here. Okay. And these are the hours I'm talking about. These ones I'll be using later. But you can find them maybe on Google. Uh, but I'm not sure about the licensing. But I'm not going to be selling this game or publishing this game. So, um, well, I may publish it like as a, a web game for people to see what it looks like and how it works. But I won't be selling it. Um, and it won't be touchscreen, so these hours won't be used. So, when you've got your assets imported, we're gonna add our bird into the scene. And it's gonna be quite big, so we're going to scale it down to be smaller. And then we're gonna put it zero on the Y, and I'm gonna put mine to minus 5.5 on here. Okay, let's go to our assets file here. We're gonna add a new folder. So right click create a folder called animations. Go back to wherever you have saved your images and we're gonna select bird one, bird two. I think for you when you download them, they're called frame one, frame two. And drag that onto our bird here. Go to assets, animations, and let's call it player. And now our character is already animated. So let's rename it to player here. And then underneath me here, we're going to tag it. So just literally, as you see here, uh, as player. <clears throat> and if you want to see the animation working, we can go to Window, Animation, Animation. And let's hit Play. And you see now our bird is flapping. Okay, the next thing we need to do is <clears throat> get the bird moving up or down. Now, with the size of mine, I know the highest I want it to go is going to be, say, uh, four. How about three? So I'm going to put the highest as three, and then the lowest as minus three. But actually, I'll do minus four and four. <clears throat> It'll give me more customization options for the obstacles later. So we're going to go to Playmaker right click add FSM and this first one here we are going to name to set position and this is going to be set player position and we just need one action for this which is set position 2D Okay, and we're going to use the Y here. We're going to add a new variable. And we're going to call it player Y. Uh, first time you create, you may need to add it again by right clicking and clicking add variable. And we're going to make it every frame. Next, a new FSM. So we're going to click on where it says set position or just be FSM if you haven't chosen a name. And we're going to add a new FSM and call movement control and we want three states here for now we're going to add an extra one in a moment but the first it will be uh, press 
up or down arrow. Here will be move up. And this one's going to be move down. And we're going to want some custom events here. So we're going to click on events here. And we're going to have up and down. Go up and we'll link up to move up and then add down transition. So it's basically right click on it. Make sure you choose add transition, not global transition. And add down. Okay, and then for here, we're just going to add finished. And then we'll link these here for now. As I say, soon we're going to add one more state. Okay, and um, then we're going to add here get key down. And we want two get key downs. Okay, so this is where you're going to choose the keys you are going to use to play. So I'm going to put key and I'll choose up arrow to go up. And that's going to send to up. And then the other key will be down arrow and choose down. In move up, we want to do a next frame event. We'll add that to down as well here. And then in here, we want to do float add. And in move down, we want float subtract. Okay, we can close that for now. So we move up, make sure float add is above next frame event. And where it says float variable, we're going to choose player Y and we're going to add one. And then next frame event, we'll go to finished. And in uh, move down, make sure again float subtract is above next frame event. Choose player Y and subtract one and go finished. Now our character is going to move. So if we hit play and you use whatever controls you chose, so like for me, the up and down arrows, those are my keys. Our bird will then move up and down. But you will notice that, as you can see on my screen here, we've now gone out of the camera. And that's not something we want. So what we'll do is we'll add a new state here. And we'll call lock position. And we're going to link these to here. Add a finished event here and link that back to the start here. Now we want two things here. We want a next frame event as well as a float clamp. So basically, a float clamp is we're going to tell it two numbers, a value of what we want to be between. And if it goes over that or below that, it will stop us doing that. Okay, so. We're going to go to player Y here. And the minimum value will be the lowest you want to go. So mine's going to be minus 4. And then the maximum will be 4. And we're going to click finished here. Now if I hit play, hopefully, as long as there's no errors. <coughs> hopefully, now if I move up, you see I can no longer go past there. Okay, so last thing we want to do is on our player, we're going to add a component and we want to add a polygon collider 2D. <clears throat> and that is it for part one. Okay, so in part two, we are going to uh, actually work on creating some enemies to uh, later spawn in the game. So hopefully uh, I'll see you in lesson two. It will be in the uh, end screen. I'll put a card on screen. Uh, and I'll also link it in a card in the top corner here now. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also consider subscribing for more Playmaker tutorials. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.